In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to configure the web push notification feature within your BuddyBoss platform. This feature will allow members to subscribe and receive all BuddyBoss notification types as push notifications through their browser, even when they're not on your website. By delivering notifications to your members, even when they are away from your website, you'll be increasing engagement by encouraging your members to regularly return to your site. Note that this feature will require the BuddyBoss Platform Pro, which comes included with the BuddyBoss web purchase. Now let's go to your WordPress admin backend to configure the web push notifications. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Integrations OneSignal. This page will ask you for OneSignal app ID and REST API key to connect your WordPress site to your OneSignal account. For this feature to work, we are integrating with OneSignal, which is an engagement platform that offers a system for powering push notifications in web browsers. We chose OneSignal because they're popular and reliable, and they also offer a free plan that will work for most customers. You don't need a paid plan unless you want to use some of the OneSignal's advanced features beyond what we have integrated within the plugin. At this time, our integration does not require the paid features. Getting your OneSignal app ID and REST API key is quite simple. Just head over to onesignal.com, then click login or sign up if you haven't already yet created an account. Once logged in, click this button to create a new app or website. Assign a name for the app and select web and then click next. You'll be redirected to the page to configure your app. For the integration, select custom code, enter your site name as you can easily remember what website this app is for, enter your site URL, then lastly upload a default icon that will be used for the soft prompt of your site. Once done, just click save and then finish. Next is getting the keys you need to connect this app to your BuddyBoss site. Under the settings page, go to keys and IDs tab. Right away, you will see your OneSignal app ID and REST API keys. I will now copy and paste these back into my WordPress site. Then we're going to click Save Settings. And just like that, your OneSignal app is connected to your BuddyBoss site. The screen will now show connected with a green indicator. That means the site is set up successfully. Once done, navigate to BuddyBoss Settings Notifications and then scroll down to the web push notification section to enable and configure this feature. Please note that you need BuddyBoss Platform Pro enabled in order for the web push notifications to work. So let's enable web push notifications. Here you can upload a notifications icon that will be used for your web push notifications. The icon needs to be a square icon, so you might want to upload a square version of your site's logo. Also keep in mind that this will just set the default notification icon for your custom notifications. Certain notification types may use a different icon. For example, some notifications will show the profile photo of the member who sent you a, a message but that will show the notification icon. Next option is skip active members. When enabled, your site will not send push notifications when members are active on any device. This is very important to avoid duplicate notifications and only inactive members will receive web push notifications from your site. Next, let's configure automatically request permission. Enabling this will trigger a hard prompt, which is the browser's native permissions prompt. You can choose to trigger this when members first visit or log into your site through a new web browser. 
For now, let's select login on the drop down and then save the settings. Let me show you how this looks now in the front end. When a user first logs into your site, a hard prompt will appear and they can choose to allow or block notifications from your site. This is the default hard prompt that comes with the browsers and it doesn't really do a good job persuading your users why they might want to subscribe to your site's notifications. So we've designed something called a soft prompt, which is a little more visual and allows you to add text to encourage your users to subscribe to your site's notifications. So let me show you how this works. Let's enable the soft prompt. We've provided this default text to encourage users to subscribe, but you might want to write it with your own words for your own audience. If you want to edit the image here, you need to go back to the OneSignal account where we uploaded the default icon for your app earlier. We also provide an option to edit and allow and cancel button text if you want. Here you can see a preview of the soft prompt for your reference before saving the changes. If you're satisfied, just click save settings. So let me show you how this looks in the front end. When a user first logs into your site, a soft prompt will be shown first. Here is the custom text and image we've uploaded. Users can click on allow, then it will trigger the hard prompt. And you can see that we are now subscribed to the notifications for this website. And here is the default notification icon we added earlier. Once everything is set up, Members can toggle on or off the option to receive web push notifications from their account and notification settings page on the website's front end. They can mark or unmark any web notification types checkboxes to enable or disable the notification type from being sent as a web push notification. And as a site admin, you can also configure which types of web push notifications are available in the front end through this notification types interface. The option we've added for the hard prompt and soft prompt are there to persuade members to subscribe to your notifications when they first log in to your site, but they can also toggle notifications on or off from this notification preferences at any time. And they can do that by clicking on this toggle. You can see this instruction that says, click on the lock icon and turn off the notifications from here. Note that every browser manages subscribing notifications differently. So the instructions that are here are specific to Google Chrome. If you're using Safari or other web browsers, the instructions would be slightly different. And that's how you configure the web push notifications for your BuddyBoss site.